Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the two Manhunt games for the PS2. Manhunt and its sequel, Manhunt 2, are one of the most gory video games out there. These games are peak examples of gore in video games. After playing these games, you feel like a maniac, and that is good or bad depending on how you look at it. If you're one of those people who say video games are violent and point at this game which was intentionally made like this, then you have something to protest against. But if you look at it from Rockstar's perspective, it's a mission complete. Because it really makes you feel like a crazy gory dude that kills victims in unimaginable ways. So what are these games that got banned in so many countries? They are stealth games. In each game you play as another protagonist, but the core gameplay is the same. As the name suggests, you hunt men and sneak behind gang victims or pursuers in the second game and kill them. And the reason for which the games got banned is because the kills are very gory. In fact, each weapon has three attacks depending on your button press. One press is a short kill. And the longer you press the button, the gorier the kill. In the first game you play as James Cash, a guy that goes after gang members and kills them for snuff movies. And the reason why he does this is because a guy saved him because he was condemned to death, but instead he was put to sleep and woke up and the guy told him to kill gang members for snuff movies and after that he receives his freedom, so in short you play as an ex-con that kills gang members for snuff movies, so that he can gain his freedom. In the second one you play as Danny, a mental patient that gets out, you can't remember his past because of amnesia and while he roams the city free he has to kill his pursuers that want to get him back at the mental institution. As I said, the games are gory, that's their selling point, and the reason they've got so popular. But how are they gameplay wise? Gameplay wise, they are solid. The stealth element feels just right, enemy AI is ok, controls are smooth, and the gameplay really makes you feel as if you're in the boots of a maniac, which is mission accomplished for the developers. Now, because of the bad reputation the games have and because they are banned in some countries, I can't recommend them to you. But I still can't deny that they are solid games and are far away from being bad games gameplay wise.